there are uh, three different parts which I, I'm going to demonstrate. Essentially, one part is uh, learning uh, the steps of colposcopy, learning how to identify the images and how to make a diagnosis. Uh, so that is the learning part. Second, there is a, a, a large number of case series which uh, the uh, a student or the trainee can uh, you know, learn in a very interactive uh, way and then come to a diagnosis. And third part is a quiz where the images will be given to the trainees at random and they will be asked to, uh, to come to a diagnosis and also to comment on the management. And then the, that will be validated uh, by the post uh, quiz uh, you know, answers. We open the home page of the Atlas and on the left hand side there are the different options. If we click on the learning colposcopy you can see there are f uh, different chapters here. The first one is about basics of colposcopy, the second one is how to do colposcopic examination, third one is about uh, detection of benign abnormalities and, third, and the, uh, the, the fourth one is detection of cervical neoplasias, the last one is about treatment. So just to give you a glimpse of uh, different uh, parts with, within these chapters, so as we click on uh, uh, this particular chapter, we see the different uh, sections. And supposing we click on squamous metaplasia, so here you have the description as well as a lot of images there. And these images are very interactive. You can click on any of them. And it, uh, and it enlarges and there are all the annotations. So you can move from one image to another directly. So that's uh, also possible. Or you can come out of that and then see the images directly. The navigation again is uh, very, very uh, simple. You can go down and then if you want to go to the next page, you simply click on this arrow and then you go to the next page. You can uh, navigate from the top, you can uh, navigate uh, right from the bottom as well. So this is how you can move from one chapter to another. So this is uh, an example of a section under the normal uh, colposcopy. So if we wa want to go and see uh, the, uh, this particular section which uh, dis uh, dis uh, describes high-grade lesions, this is under the case series. So you click on this and you can see all the different, uh, um, uh, uh, different cases listed there. So you can click on any of them to see more details. Supposing if I click on this, uh, you see the clinical uh, uh, information is here, the age, the screening diagnosis, and then uh, the images are very uh, arranged in such a way. The first image is uh, after application of normal saline, second is after application of acetic acid, and third is after ap application of lugalsiadine. So you click on them, and then you can uh, enlarge them, see them better, and the, 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 there are already the annotations uh, done to show the different uh, aspects of the image. Similarly, under learning a colposcopy, there is a lot of stress on uh, teaching the different uh, procedures for treating cervical pre-malignant disease. This has got a section on cryotherapy, there is a, a section on thermocoagulation, and there is a section on LEDs. And uh, if you want to see any of the videos, those via, uh, of uh, uh, LEDs procedure, those uh, videos are also here. So this is one of the videos of type 1 excision. So you click on them and uh, you can uh, see the, the entire procedure being done. And uh, there is a voiceover to explain how the steps. So this is, I'm just uh, forwarding, uh, fast forwarding through the video. So this end of the video, you'll see the, how the case is managed. So this is uh, the part which is we call learning colposcopy. Next one will be the case series. As I showed you earlier, the case series, they have all different kinds uh, of cases, including uh, the invasive disease, especially if you uh, click on any of them. And then you'll see the very early invasive cancers. And for each of these case series, there is the reporting format, which we are using the latest, uh, the International Federation of Cervical Pathology and Colposcopy nomenclature. Uh, it will take you through the entire nomenclature, finally allow you to do a scoring, 
and then there is the final diagnosis and management. So for each case, there is the IFCPC diagnosis as well as uh, the management. And then the last part is the quiz. In the quiz, at random you get uh, the images which you will see, but then this time there won't be any annotation, there won't be any diagnosis, so you'll have to see these images and then, uh, then you'll have to make your own diagnosis. So as you do the diagnosis, you can, uh, uh, if there, there, is, there are all drop down lists. So you just simply go for this drop down list and then whatever your diagnosis is. And then finally, as you click submit, you can go for the complete uh, case uh, the, uh, su summary and then do uh, the sweet score and then finally you submit it. And then this will automatically generate whether you are correct in answering or what are the mistakes you have made. So that, that's going to show, show you the entire uh, case and then its uh, final diagnosis whether you are correct or not.